Welcome to the video tutorial of the application Is That Silly? My name is Barbara Fernandez. I'm a speech and language pathologist and a developer of this application. Is That Silly is designed to help kids work on their pragmatic and social skills as well as their expressive language skills. Let's take a look at that. Uh, is that silly? I'm gonna hit the play button to get started. Kicking the soccer ball. So now the audio was she is kicking the soccer ball. The child has to decide if this image is silly or not silly. Of course, this image is not silly. Well done. That's not silly. Everyone is going to eat the birthday cake. Here again, we have a not silly image, but what I'm going to do is hit on the silly image. That's not silly. So now we give the, the child the cue that this image is not silly and ask them to try again. Well done. That's not silly. They are playing hockey in the ocean. Now here we have a silly image. They're playing hockey in the ocean. I'm gonna hit silly. You get a well done. Do you know what is silly about this picture? Now the child is prompted to verbalize what's silly about this picture. We know that kids don't play hockey in the ocean. Now we have here buttons for correct, incorrect, and correct with help it would be the button in the middle and you as this therapist or the parent if you're working with the child as you're playing this image then you can mark mark one of the following one of these buttons well done that's silly the plane is flying on the bottom of the ocean it's also possible to turn off the request for prompting for expressive language so we'll just work on receptive language which is the first deciding of whether it's silly or not we can also turn off the written and audio cue so the child actually has to look at the image and try to identify what's silly about this picture without the auditory information that gives them an extra cue Now another interesting thing is as the child is going through the images, we are tracking how many images they got correct or incorrect. Now here we have 80% accuracy in identify silly and not silly images. You can also turn that off and just work on practicing that skills, but I'm going to turn it back on so that we can take a look at the report. You can also skip the images and I'm going to go through a few images here. And I'm going to hit done. You hit done by clicking on the home button. So this is what the report card would look like. We have an overall accuracy for receptive language, for which means identifying the images, whether or not they're silly. Then we have the expressive portion. Got it. Almost got it. And unable to verbalize expressive, uh, verbally express peculiarities of the images. You can just hit the email button to email this information to yourself so you can keep track. That was it for today. I hope you enjoyed Is That Silly? Now available on the iTunes Store for iPad and iPhone.